killed the white man. Kill him or kill him. He is dead. Kill the white man. You're fired. Yeah. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. Remember when affirmative action was overturned and we were like, that's really good because you shouldn't be racist against anyone. And actually, anti-white racism is a huge problem in the country right now. And all higher education is essentially a functionary of anti-white and anti-Asian racism. And you can see that in all of the polling, in all of the data that they skew really hard racistly against white people and against Asians. And that obviously anti-white racism is a major crisis in this country. I would totally agree with that. Racism is a crisis in this country. It's just not the way that people think. And of course you shouldn't be racist against anyone, which is why I'm very happy about this next story where a black supremacist got what's coming to her. Check this out. Self-proclaimed black supremacist goes on unhinged racist tirade after finding out that her sister slept with a white guy. She vows to destroy the relationship before asking her boyfriend to come and kill him. She is a teacher in Texas and has a history of anti-white and homophobic tweets. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, so let's go through this because this is a this is a video of screenshots because the Twitter account was deleted, right? So this person felt the heat and the Twitter account was deleted. The person's name is Daniel Allen, Danielle Allen, and she is a black supremacist. So here is the opening tweet. Danielle Allen went as Claire Kyle on X or Twitter.com. Uh, that's always a good sign when you go by a, a completely different pseudonym on your social media accounts. But anyway, it's certainly not a sign of deep degenerate mental illness. She posts a photo of her sister with a white guy having his arm around her, chilling on the couch. Okay, what's up? Woke up with my sister being the biggest disappointment I've ever seen. Look at the color of the arm wrapped around my sister. Poor sis laid up with a pasty in my effing house. Reverse the races. Reverse the races. And then add in whatever pejorative, whatever racist terminology, if this were a white brother or a white sister looking at her white sister with black eye. What would happen to that person? What would happen to that person? We live in a time when if you rap, if you if you rap uh, the wrong word, as you are rapping to the music, as, as you are just repeating songs, lyrics in a song, then you'll be you'll be canceled for just doing that. This is what I'm talking about. Anti-white racism is a crisis in this nation. It is a pandemic. I'm inconsolable. How many white classmates does she have? My little sister is letting all of Europe take turns on her. The disappointment I feel right now. Our parents raised us better than this. This girl spent all her dowry and now laid up with a white. Flip the races. Read it back to me. Tell me if this person would ever be able to show their face uh, in public again. This person would be charged by Biden's DOJ under the Civil Rights Act. This is a text exchange with her and her sister. Yeah, my classmate Matt's here. He's the guy in the black truck. Yep, is he white? All of them are. It's true. Oh, okay. So, y'all already know why I'm having a bad day. My sister is a cave dweller smasher. Cave dweller smasher. That's what they were referring to white people as. By, by they, I mean this teacher from Texas. Cave dweller smasher. Got it? Because white people lives in, live in caves. Got it? In my house? On this land? I just want to let y'all know that I'm about to do everything in my power to f*** this relationship up. And it's going to be so fun and so satisfying to watch. Hmm. Is it going to be as f***ed up as your face? Because, man, that is the most aggressive filter I've seen in a long time on social media. Anyway, had to call my man for backup. So she texts, she posts a text exchange with a man named Dre and she asks Dre to kill the guy. And she says that she'll hide the body. Bring four of your guns. 
Hmm. I think Dre should get a little knocky knock from the cops. Go, hey, hey, uh, local police force. Why don't you go check in with Dre and see if he has illegal firearms and if they're properly registered? And if there's any conspiracy to try and kill white people with them. Uh, this is your warning sign. I can't believe a cave dweller in my freaking house. So they refer to white people as cave dwellers. I will let the irony wash over you. Did she introduce y'all? No, she didn't. I'm trying to stay calm. She knows I'm racist. Well, it's nice when they just straight up say it. She knows I'm racist. That man looks like a Trump supporter. Okay, let's kill him. See that? Flip the races and tell me if this person would even be able to walk freely in America right now. Nope. They'd be in jail. There's a white person texting about a black person like this. They'd be in prison. This is how much she feels entitled to post this race. This is how much society affirms her racism. Okay. That's why I say that anti-white racism is its own chronic pandemic. It is its own crisis right now because she feels so affirmed to go out and do this because of the racism in society that is institutionalized against white people. I'm baffled seeing a white man in my house. I cannot believe this. It's supposed to be a Negro only house using her language. I am so mad right now. I also don't want to cause a scene and embarrass her. I don't know what to do. Tweeting out her feelings. So here is the uh, screenshots of her saying that she is a teacher and that she is a black supremacist. So how did this person get, is there, are there no background checks for school teachers in Texas? And then here we go. <laughs> this is, this is an un unrelated screenshot of her being extremely homophobic. Just in case, in, in case you're wondering if she can piss off, if this person can piss off everyone involved, all sides. Thank God I got me a real one. Uh, and she's talking about She's talking about, I guess, talking to this guy named Dre again uh, about being super gay. Again, her words, not mine. Thank you for being homophobic, she says. Uh-oh, you're my soulmate. Sounds like a wonderful person, really, just a wonderful person. Just a, a delightful person. And then here it is, the, the man, the tippy top of the icing on the cake. Chilling with my class while Twitter thinks they can take my safe and secured. Hmm. Well, funny thing happened on the way to your black Klansman rally, your black supremacist rally. Uh, you did get fired, actually. <laughs> black Texas, Texas black supremacist teacher fired by school board after racist post. Boom. Shakalaka. We have it uh, right here. This is the Mesquite, Texas uh, learning community. 38,000 students. Can you believe this? It's in East Dallas County. And this person was able to have access to thousands of students, presumably, with her repulsive and degenerate views. At approximately 4 p.m. yesterday, Mesquite became aware of a series of alarming racist statements posted on an account of a teacher at Thompson Elementary. She was teaching first graders this filth, this despicable, despicable monster. Upon learning of this situation, the personnel staff began to immediate investigation. As of this morning, the employee is no longer part of the Mesquite IC organization, is not eligible for rehire due to privacy restrictions, cannot comment further details on the personnel matter. Nonetheless, highly offensive statements uh, posted on the account did not reflect the values and the standards of this school district, and we condemn them in the strongest terms, said the district. Good for you. Shouldn't have to take this. You should have done it yourself. Shia uh, is, of course, the person who runs Libs of TikTok that uh, w was leading the charge against the teacher, how it started, how it was going. Boom. Yes, y'all found my jobs. They told me to delete the post, but my job is safe since I did not directly wish harm on all white people. Oh, they laughed and told me to watch what I say and I'll be good to go. Being a great teacher pays off very well when they know your true self. Just talk to the school board and my job is safe. Cry in the corner. I told them that it was a joke and they know I'm not racist. So have fun. Okay. But y'all racist, you see? Y'all racist. <laughs> oh, I love it when a story has a happy ending. And here's the happy ending. And it's like really not, it, it's really not hard. Um, the happy ending goes like this. You, you, sick, degenerate racist. 
I don't care what your skin color is. I don't care what your name is. I don't care who you're from. I don't care how rich you are. Uh, racism is defined as looking at another race of people or somebody that has a marginal skin color that's different than yours uh, and, and, and treating them as lesser. Okay? The end. It can happen to everyone. There have been white slaves throughout history. There have been black slaves throughout history. There have been brown slaves throughout history. There have been, uh, like, all types of people. Look at the, look at the great Irish slavery, right? And my wife's, like, 100% Irish. What's that? Like, look, look at the great Irish chattel slavery, effectively, like, of the entire nation of Ireland. And that, that's just one example all the way down through the ages, okay? Every race is enslaved to every other race. So it's all wrong forever. And from a Christian perspective, God puts melanin in your skin thousands and thousands of years ago with your ancestor based on how close they were to the equator to stop sunburns and to keep you healthy. That's it. That's all. That That's all. That's the only difference. If you're a Christian, you believe in one God and you believe in one creator, then all people are equal. All men are created equal, as our founding documents say. And nobody should be judged by the color of their skin, but the content of their character. And the content of your character, racist teacher is a goblin-like monster. And I hope, deeply hope, that there is a massive criminal investigation into you, your racism, your threatening of white people, and that we have a national moment here where we can begin to talk about this. Because it is wrong. It is wrong on every single level. And if it's wrong this way, it's wrong this way, okay? That's just how the world works. It's your boy, Benny. Uh, one less sick, vile, racist teacher in our school system. That's a good day. See ya.